Good evening and once again happy Monday. We've been talking about it all day and McNeese basketball fans still have a smile from ear to ear as their new men's basketball head coach Will Wade was introduced at the Legacy Center this afternoon. At 6 o'clock we heard from both Wade and Athletic Director Heath Schroyer as they each address their expectations and their excitement for this new age of Cowboys basketball. But Coach Wade is excited for a different reason as well as his new job in Lake Charles provides him with the opportunity to put his past behind him. But this program needs a rebirth. This area needs to continue its rebirth from the hurricanes. Uh, you know, it was very humbling. I, I, I was here with our team after the hurricanes hit, and we did a little bit of community service when I was down the road at LSU. And to come back and to see the progress it's made and to see the progress that still needs to be made. Um, you know, this area needs a rebirth. And my career needs a rebirth. Uh, you know, after, after everything that's gone on, we, you know, my career needs a rebirth. And so, let's be honest, right? Wade was fired by LSU exactly a year to the day before he was hired yesterday on March 12th by McNeese after LSU received seven level one and le one level two violation allegations pertaining to the men's basketball program. Wade was also suspended in 2019 ahead of the NCAA tournament after an FBI wiretap caught him discussing a strong offer for a recruit before name, image, and likeness rules were in place. Wade discussed the ongoing investigation earlier today. Look, we, I can't really touch on the process because it's still, it's still ongoing. Um, I will say, you know, when you look at the totality of, of, of some of the other rulings thus far, I think with the due, I mean, I, I'll say, I mean the university did an unbelievable amount of due diligence, uh, unbelievable amount, meeting with attorneys, law, I mean, all sorts of folks. I think they're, um, you know, you never know what's going to happen and we can't comment because it's ongoing, but Certainly, I think I think we're um, you know we're excited about the future here and, and feel good about about things moving forward. Today, when Wade was introduced as the 12th head coach in program history, several members of the men's basketball team were in attendance. However, two players who weren't there included Christian Schumate, who led McNeese in scoring and rebounds this past season with an average of 15.1 points per game and 9.7 rebounds per game, and also their fourth leading scorer, Jonathan Massey, who averaged 10.5 points per game this past season. Earlier today, Wade also discussed the current McNeese roster and the transfer portal. Like I said at the beginning, we want what's best for all these guys. And, you know, coaching changes are hard. And, you know, the assistants who recruited them, the staff who recruited them, not necessarily here. And so, you know, if guys want to go in the portal, we're, I'm in total support of that. And, and we, we're going to work with them and we're going to help them, you know, wherever they want to go. And the guys who want to stay and be a part of this and want to build this and want to turn this thing around, um, you know, we're going to support them too and help them and work with them as well. So. I'm all about the free market and individual choice. Uh, and so, you know, all those guys are going to make their individual choices and then, then we'll maneuver the roster, you know, accordingly. For the full press conference with the media, as well as the introductory press conference and much more, visit our website at kplctv.com.